Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan. We're at uh, an airbase or some of some sort. We're helping the boomers out. It's the middle of the night, so we're really going to be annoying them by wandering into their homes. But, uh, hell, why not? Hello, what? Pete. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Oh. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? I haven't, actually, but okay, whatever. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> oh, you want me to pay attention? Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis you're kind of a jerkwad. Many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find them. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Oh my god, this kid's retarded and trying to talk to a dog. Well, that was boring. <laughs> uh, okay. Where else do I want to go? To one of these uh, builder rate innings, perhaps? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Need some crows. Pickled herring. We'll wait until the morning. And now people might actually be in their correct places for me to go and speak with them. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Hello, Jack. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Um... Yeah, I'm looking for ways to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. Oh. A personal matter, eh? Handsome guy like you. I bet there's a girl involved. Oh god. That option is terrible, yet I shall pick it anyway. You think I'm handsome? Wow. I wonder if she does too. <laughs> so tell me about this, dame. There's an outpost near here. The signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except, she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Okay, maybe I could talk to her for you. What's she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. <laughs> 
you'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? Oh my god, that would just be horrible! Blown up. What if she doesn't like me? Oh jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Okay, so with whom else? Oh my god, it's door whores everywhere! Okay. Um, am I supposed to speak to you? I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Okay. I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Okay, I'll be back. I've got work to do. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed. That is exciting. Oh my god, what is this supposed to be? This is realism. Light Bloom was created in order to create realism. So what you're looking at is unfettered realism. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, is there anybody else in this place that has things for me to speak with them about? A boat. Oh, I wanted to seal the pot, but it's not allowed. I definitely needed a pot to carry around to put things in. Okay. So, I've got two tasks, both of them actually outside of Nellis. I will do Young Hearts first. This one shall be quick and easy, perhaps? I really shouldn't speak so soon, it's probably going to be ridiculous. Big iron on his hip Oh my goodness. Follow 3 had much better music than this. Ooh. You clean up cow poop. I've heard you should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over and Oh my god, look at how ugly you are. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over and Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside, Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Excellent. Uh, okay, who's next? Sunshine Boogie. That's the name of a quest, if I ever heard one. Dear God. Dear God, look at that mess of dots and things. Whew. Hello. Giant pile of NCR people. I'm going in to steal some parts. What do you guys think about that? You don't think anything. You guys don't even have dialogue. You're even dumber than regular people. I hope you don't take offense to that. Okay, so... I just wander up to the things it's pointing me to, I guess? And then just take them. Uh, 
Oh no, there's like stuff in. Ooh, ammo. Ooh. A napping area. Those are quite nice. Hooray! That is a lot of solar array parts for me to just be able to take like that. That's interesting. One stim pack! Hooray! Oh, it's like wandering all the way out here is totally fine. And not a giant pain. Wait, oh, there's another one. Why aren't you guys sleeping in the tents? Okay, well, I can clearly see that this is going to be boring to watch me to do this repeatedly, so I won't make you watch it. Alrighty! Found all the parts. It was a. Uh, oh my god, it's back! <gasps> it's back! Oh. Uh... Okay. Okay, so I did that, I guess. I'm not reading your boring text. Repair that. Couple more over here that don't look quite nice. Go there. And this one here. Look at that. I am an excellent repairman. Very good at my job. And I've leveled up from repairing all of these. Hooray! Science! Yeah! Oh, I am a scientist. An extra 15 points in any of my skills? Hells yeah. Oh, I already have science tagged. I can't take it again. Um, uh, medicine? Yeah, then I can at least save that one other guy. Okay. Good stuff. I probably should have picked lockpick. That barrel! Did you see it, internet people? It was just rolling away. Um, I don't know why I found that. Incredibly interesting, but I did. Hooray, I've made the array 120% more efficient. I'm amazing. I wonder if that light blue there's gonna be all that light blue in here. I hope there is. Okay, good. Yeah, no, they turn it off during the nighttime. Good on them. Hello, outsider. Need something? Um, oh, I repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Can I get a coat to use the VR pods in the mess hall? I don't know what those are, but uh, yes, I would like those. No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. I'm generally interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Okay. People like me, apparently. So wait, where is the mess hall? Is it in here, or is it in another one? Or is it in another place? Oh, but I'm not done helping. I want to help this guy here with his, uh, his lady friend. He's got to get some, he's got to get some boontang, because all he's got is that one, uh, there's the old lady, there's the bitchy militant lady, and then there's a bunch of little kids, so that's, uh, that's not the greatest pool of vaginas to dive into. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But the ugly woman seems like not that bad of an option considering who else is around here. So I am going to ask Pearl first if perhaps she would be interested in letting ugly lady into Nellis. I'll be very, very convincing. Oh, yes, Pearl's barracks. Pearl! You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Yep, Jack is interested in a girl. 
Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Well, I think I've done everything I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Oh my god. I'm gonna fix one of these bombers and they're gonna blow up everything. Lake Mead? It's a bomber at the bottom of a lake? I'm gonna have to swim in a lake. I hate swimming in lakes. Oh no. Are you loyal or the other guy? Oh no, you're loyal. I don't want to talk to you just yet. We're gonna finish up with uh, Jack and the ugly lady and then we're going to do this next thing. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Jenna needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Hooray! Okay, so let's... Instantly teleport to the Crimson Caravan! Hello, Janet. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Oh my god, I can't believe how ugly you are. Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I've got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Kate. Okay. Wake up, Alice. Welcome back. Janet asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Morb gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just as once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Hooray! Hello? Oh no you don't. Don't go back to bed. Get up. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? I convinced her to pay you what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great! I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Hooray! I can't sit idly while the lead... Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Can you think of any ways I can help out? Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal. Oh. Okay. So now I wait for them to meet each other? I guess. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while? So we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. <laughs> They're looking at each other now, so that's that's a good step. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. See ya. I am I idolized. Just, thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Hooray! 
I am a very, very, very something matchmaker. Okay, so... Now that I've been playing this game for roughly forever, we're going to make that a video in Tornade People. So next time, we're going to probably fish a thing out of a lake. So, uh, thanks for watching.